Hello everybody, this is Zuki and in this video we're going to go through using ChatGPT Chat to write resumes and cover letters and see if this is potentially a good tool to use by recruiters or if it is that good that it can actually replace the jobs of recruiters. Um, if you haven't been to this channel before, um, I am a professional test engineer and a traveler and I'm really excited about AI and how it's going to change uh, the way of way technology works right now. And I'm trying to go through a bunch of different scenarios that I think ChatGPT and other AI tools can help you out. Uh, so to get started on this video, I'm going to try out a few scenarios on writing resumes and also trying to come up with uh, using current resumes to see if it, if we can search for specific skills as a recruiter would do. So to start off, um, this the this is the ChatGPT interface. You have if you haven't used this yet, go to my first video and I'll give you a small intro on using basic things. So just a, a bit of a disclaimer that this video is going to be fairly raw. I'm not removing all the uh, different things that don't work because the point of this channel is to test the AI tools. So if it things don't work, that is exactly what I'm trying to present. So to start off, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to see to to give me the main skills to include in a resume of a specific kind of job. So I, what I didn't do is I kept, a, I did not mention how experienced this person is and it's still using a data set for uh, 2021. So it's not using any technologies that are, have come in since then. It's giving me quite a number of features, so which I have personally used. So for instance, GitHub is important, React, Angular and Vue are the main frameworks that are used, so this is fairly accurate. I'm gonna so I'm asking, uh, I'm asking ChatGPT to provide me a basic template so I can use this template for my own um, resume. I'm going to try to actually build the resume using the names. I'm going to provide it names for it can for it to be added directly on the on the fly instead of doing the work myself. All right, it's giving me a fairly good uh, area for. Okay, so what I just noticed is all the things that are mentioned here have been recreated in this section. I don't know if using familiarity is a good word in a resume. I'm going to add a name. Okay, so it did the same work for me ex except that this time it added real data and it also added some dummy addresses and phone numbers and email which I did not ask it to do which is good so what I noticed is a difference between the, the sample template and this um, person is it's actually giving me actual professional experiences added to it um, which is which is pretty cool uh, I'm going to try adding another experience um, from say 2017 to 2018 Maybe 2016.
okay so it's repeating the whole resume again I haven't figured out yet to uh, have it repeat the same thing without using without giving me all the information it had uh, provided before okay so what I had originally intended it to do was to keep these experiences in place and uh, add a new one after this so I have something to show from Jan 2016 to 2018 but instead it it did not keep the order of the job titles so it so for instance 2016 and 2018 is is added before this which is which is not correct okay so this time what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use this resume and make some edits myself okay so I'm gonna add a few skills to see if we can use um, okay so this is a very specific skill that was added which wasn't mentioned in the generic resume so I'm going to try to see if it detects detects that skill Okay, so it did find the, the line I just added. Okay. Okay, that's actually pretty smart. So this line mentioned, I added this line in the technical skills section. I did not add it to a specific job experience. So it actually told me it's not possible to tell how many years uh, a candidate has based on just mentioning it in the skills. I'm gonna try to mention the same skill in two different jobs. So this one is a year, year long. And I'm going to see if it provides me a year experience in this. Okay, so it actually updated, updated the line I just added. Okay, this is actually, this is also pretty specific. So for instance, if you just add that you have used something during an entire time of your career, that does not mean that you have worked on that technology for an entire year, because you might be doing other things and that might be just something you did once, like for one month during your entire career. So it is it is actually specific like that because uh, recruiters actually, sometimes ask this question that um, if you have if you mention a certain skill um, if you mention a certain skill say Node.js or, or, or anything like that in a job description sometimes recruiters make the assumption that you have been using that for the entire two years of your uh, position which is incorrect 
you probably need to mention how long you have used this in the job. And ChatGPT actually makes sure that it tells you the, the assumption like that. And so you can't, it cannot tell you how many years of experience because if you want to know a years of experience of a sp certain skill, you, you may need to be doing that exact same thing for, an enti for the entire time. And which is usually not the case in um, tech jobs. Um, so yeah, this this has been fairly impressive till now. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna try getting a cover letter for this same position. Okay, so the thing about ChatGPT is it works with a lot of generic information most of the time, but that is not the extent of its capabilities. It has a lot of potential, but you do need to specify quite a, quite a number of uh, specific details. I'm going to try rewriting the same letter, but emphasizing um, the skill WebDriver IO. Okay, so this is a, this is pretty useful because sometimes I when I write cover letters, not that I write a lot of cover letters because I don't think that's a trend anymore. Uh, when you do want to mention cover letters, you you want to emphasize certain specific things that relate to a job description, and I think ChatGPT does a good job on that. So I'm going to move a little a little bit away from tech and go to this website where I'm going to try using uh, using some other resumes so for instance if you're working as a veterinarian and uh, and i'm going to use this this format and i'm going to try to see whether they have experience with with dogs and if it doesn't mention anything it would provide me no information Okay, so as you see, there are specifics about dog walking and dog training, which which is brought up by ChatGPT here, and it mentions. And I'm gonna try to. So this is hard to read. Sometimes big paragraphs are hard to read. I'm gonna try to change that to. Okay, so overall, I think it does a pretty good job at finding specific things in your resume as a recruiter, because if you're scanning through a lot of resumes just with your eye, it can get hard to spot the proper skills, and you might miss good candidates if you don't do that correctly. 
So I think ChatGPT is a fairly good assistant. I don't think at this point it is strong enough to replace the whole recruiter position. It might be good enough to find to replace the sourcer role, like a like a technical sourcer who sources who goes through a bunch of resumes to shortlist a certain number of resumes for um, for the recruiters to talk to, maybe. I hope you got some value out of this video and on how to use this to write resumes and cover letters. If you did enjoy this video, please add a like and hit the subscribe button uh, for upcoming videos that I have planned. Thank you.